Hello YouTube and welcome to your fourth Microsoft Visual Basic tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to actually start programming. Now to start off we're going to go ahead and click new project and this will open up our new project window. Now here I'm going to have to try to get this into frame. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the installed templates under Visual Basic. I'm going to select a console application. Now we could do a Windows Forms application but that has a, little, a lot of code that's already pre-made for you and this could confuse you even more if you're a beginner programmer and you've never learned a language. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and name this one VB Hello World. And now I'll just go ahead and click OK. And it'll start loading our project. Here's our module that we've created. Now you can see inside our module it starts with module module one that's the name of the file and then it starts with the, and then it ends with an end module now everything you're gonna make is gonna have to start with um, the type that it is like a class let's say class my class and it's always gonna have to end with end my class and for instance here's our main so here's sub main and it ends with end sub and now when I said uh, class my class and then end my class it'd be class my class and then end class Sorry, I screwed that up a bit, but um, let's go ahead and get started. In every program, there has to be what's called a main sub. Now, what this does is it's the first sub that runs no matter what. The program has to have a starting point. You can't just go and create a bunch of subs and then run it and expect it to know what to do. It won't know what to do. So you have to create a main sub. Now, in this case, it has been created for us. So uh, let's go ahead and start typing code inside of it. So we're going to start by typing console. Now you can see that there's a window that pops up right here. Now it has a bunch of words in here that you may or may not know what they do. Now what this is called is it's called IntelliSense. This is one of the most helpful things that is built into your IDE. It looks at what you've already written and gives you suggestions based on that. So you can see here that the first one is console, which is what we want. So we're just going to type console dot and then we'll do right and you can see here that it's got right and right line we'll just arrow down and select right line press tab and it'll automatically fill that in for us now when we call right line this is a sub and inside of it inside of these parentheses right here is what's called arguments now the arguments for writing a line to the console is a string now what a string is is it's a bunch of characters put together and they're stored inside of a of two quotation marks so we'll just type hello world now this is our hello world string it is not stored as a variable or a data type it's just there for the time we need it and then it's gone now in some languages this is called a literal string uh, I don't know if it's the same in Visual Basic I haven't looked that up but uh, I'm just gonna call it a, little str a literal string because it's the same thing so down below that what we're going to have to do is type console.readline and we'll leave empty arguments for that because we don't have to tell it to do anything specific. Now, if we come up here, you can see the start debugging arrow. What this does is uh, it runs our program in debugging mode, which will show us the errors down in the error list. So you can click this or you can just press F5. And you can see that it starts up a console window or a CMD window if that's what you, that's what you want to call it and it says hello world and you can see that it stopped right here because it's stopping to let us read the line that's why we called console.readline now if we take out this line of code and run it you'll see the window is going to pop up and then disappear really fast Here, I'll do that one more time. So, in order for us to be able to see what's actually going on before it closes, we're going to have to do console.readline. We run this, and you can see it says, Hello World. So, uh, congratulations, guys. You've successfully created your first Hello World program. And uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.